You know, think about a lot of work is going on into an hour and 15 minutes. Right. This coming Sunday is crazy. I mean, you know, what's the big deal? It's just the most important service of our life. Yeah, it's like uh, that. You know, I know we've been both been going crazy, but I've been wanting to bounce some of this off of you and see what you thought about the message part. God's called us, of course, to, mm -hmm. to love all of these people that mm -hmm. are challenged to love. And it helps us, you know, it helps me knowing that sometimes we're challenged to love. I brought you something that might help you. What's that? You know, Dad, before he got his tablet and started doing most of his stuff on his tablet, he was using legal pads, and this is just a few of them, but I asked him to keep them. There's so many sermon notes. This is one of the things I would get if the building was burning. And this page, this one that I just flipped open to, is, it says the most defining moment, and it's talking about when you realize that you know God loves you for who you are and what are you gonna do with that moment. And I thought, gosh, Rod should read this over because this Sunday, yes. people are gonna hear what you're saying. Mm. It's gonna be their defining moment. I mean, there will be people in that room that will say, that was the moment that changed my life that day. Alan's legal pads represent the foundation of my faith. Because when I met Alan Janice, I was just about ready to call it quits. And his teaching on becoming established in God's love for you so that you could love people uh, was what revolutionized my life. You're not gonna make it into God's grace and His love because of anything you do. It's about who you are. I mean, we will drop wow. on this stuff, wow. really. This is, this is who we are. This is what taught us who we are. You got what it takes, babe. I tell you, I'm so excited. <sighs> I am too. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We have a lot of work to do, in case you haven't noticed. A lot of work to do. Over the next several days, we're gathering all these wonderful volunteers that we found, and we're putting them to work, as well as showing them the ropes. More than anything, thank you for wrapping your heart around us and the vision that we've been carrying. Because in this room where we're standing right now, people's marriages are going to be saved. Kids are going to be saved. Eternity is going to be shaped because of this day. I think being in the Bible Belt, there's so many things working against us about this church as far as ideals go. Our women are very involved in ministry in our church. We, we don't believe that um, they don't have the right to teach men. So you're gonna be um, a jack of all trades of information. I will not put you in there for you to look like an idiot when it's time to pass out stuff because I can't stand that feeling. We believe that they aren't just supposed to be stuck in classrooms and with brooms in their hands. That doesn't really fly over well in a lot of denominations in the Bible Belt. There's the gay community, what does anybody do with the gay community in Christianity? What does anybody do with people with alcohol problems in Christianity? What do we do with people with addictions in Christianity? I don't care what Christianity does. This is what Movement Church is gonna do.